Typically, when you think of the Jordan Infrared, you're usually thinking of the Jordan 6 Infrared. Well, Jordan brand decided to switch some things up and give us a Jordan 7 White Infrared. What's going on guys? We have the review of the upcoming Jordan 7 Infrared set to release on June 30th for a retail price point of $200. And I'll tell you right now, this shoe, it's gonna be a pass for me, man. I, I like white, I like infrared and black. I love those three mixtures together, but I'm not a big fan when it comes to putting these other colorways that are traditionally on one shoe onto a whole nother. We've seen it done a lot with the sixes and sevens. The six Bordeaux's dropped, the six hairs dropped, now we have a six colorway being put on a seven, like this one, the Jordan 7 White Infrared. And also I own the Cardinals already that recently released, so having like an all white seven is already enough for me. The shoe features Gilligan Nutsack material leather with that tumbled going on, alongside with a nice slight grain leather going on here. Butterscotch patty melt on that part, Rumpel Steelskin Nutsack on the tumbleness. And the tumbleness is also featured on the toe box as well as on the little pods, also on the Jumpman. Infrared on the Jumpman, infrared on the shark fins, as you can see, infrared on the back on that 23, infrared on the Jordan on the tongue, blacked out Jordan right there. And of course, they had to do it with the blue tinted out outsole. I cannot recall the last blue tinted Jordan 7 shoe. There has probably been one, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying I can't remember at all. I don't have any reminiscences in my brain cells right now of the shoe they did this for. I'll say this though, they definitely did a good job like putting the colors and where to put them to mimic a Jordan 6 infrared. Like I think they did a very good job and I won't lie, the actual outsole being blue on a seven is not a bad look. It doesn't look bad. These little things are not bad. Like it looks, it looks dope, I won't lie. Also, you have this featured in a Jordan 6 box. The Jordan 7s typically come in like a silver box with a red Jumpman, or I've seen them also come in, I feel like I could be wrong, but the old school, you know, brown, black and red box. But this is coming in a Jordan 6 style, Jordan 5 box. Nike Air, Jumpman Jordan, on the box it says white slash crimson black. So it's not called even a infrared, it's called crimson. You have the black paper, trash bag paper. So it's pretty much everything mimicking of that Jordan 6 infrared, but instead it's a Jordan 7. You also have Nike Air on the inside. Nike Air on the inside there. You have flat laces, and, and, and it should be flat because this is how the Jordan 6 was, but for some reason, I don't know why, I just feel like if they were rope laces, they'd be dope. It'd be a little bit more in my opinion. These are retailing for $200. They're resale right now in the aftermarket already at $175 after fees and all that. You'll be paying around $190-$200. So that goes to show that this is gonna be a shoe that's gonna be fairly easy to get your hands on or quite available in different markets, in the retail market at least. So you should not have an issue buying this shoe whatsoever. Jordan 7s, how they fit. They fit typically snug. This is a size eight and a half, and I go with my true size with a seven, but your foot is going inside of an inner booty, as it's called, an inner shoe, and that type of inner shoe, which is of a neoprene type of material, is a snug type of shoe that you put in, and it feels good, it feels comfortable, it breaks in, but overall, you'll be good to go, but it'll be a little tight when first putting your shoe in there. It is a black tongue, but the rest of the tongue down on the actual lacing is white, so it goes from black to white and it mimics very, very well that of a Jordan 6 infrared on a Jordan 7 model. So yeah, to each its own. June 30th is when this shoe is releasing. Be on the lookout, make sure you guys are following Soul Play ATL, soulplayatl.com. Um, I'll leave links down below in the description on their Instagram and Twitter. They'll be dropping these first come first serve online and in store, so should not be an issue whatsoever getting your hands on these ASAP Rocky. If you're in Atlanta, or in Decatur or in Lawrenceville, you know about Soul Play. So salutes to them for letting me get my hands on this early to give you guys that early review and look. I'm gonna end you guys off with an on foot. Hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.